flushable. These don't clog my toilet up. That's that's cool. Are are they biodegradable? They don't clog my toilet up. I don't care. That's that's just cool. They're flushable. You are a shithead, Williamson. <laughs> You're like a poopy fucking finger When I go to wipe it lingers Stuck up my nose pushing my brain like a stinger From Duke to the NBA Christian Leitner You got no ground to stand on No place to be here Today's been uh, a little interesting. Had a cop kind of loop behind me, like, you know, like turn around but slowly and kind of just like, you know, take his time. Maybe took him a minute and he was just behind me for a little bit and then he drove away. And then about a couple hours later, some guy comes right up to my van, uh, tattoos on his face. He's got cigarettes, he's got something else that he's smoking. And he asked me if I want to hit it, and he asked me if I was bisexual, and he asked me if he could come in my van, and I was just like, nope, nope, and it was, uh, it was odd that it happened a few hours after, you know, those two random things happened today. I don't think they were related, but who the fuck knows, you know? Just washed up. Running thin on the clothes that I have. These pants, they fit really good. They almost remind me of baseball pants. It's probably the last, I think there's the last pair of pants I ever bought. Dress pants. Got a lot of dress pants I haven't been wearing over the last, uh, last year. It's okay with me. <laughs> My gaming channel is kind of like slowly gaining momentum in all different games sectors that I've touched on instead of just focusing on one niche I've kind of like slowly built a bunch of niches like little springs and they're all about between the, the channels uh, two channels the amount of work I put into them for as long as I have I'm starting to get recognition I can just tell from my LinkedIn the way I use analytics um, I've used analytics on social media platforms since I used po pre-generated pokes in college on Facebook to see what girls like. Um, and people figured it and I was like, yeah, this actually works. My friends started to use it and stuff. I started doing that. Um, to, nobody showed me to do it. I just was like, why are these changing at the time? What's causing that? Is there an algorithm? What is an algorithm? Um, but like people from, people from all over um, internet marketing gurus are the kind of people that are searching for people from Google, people from some other company that works with Google, um, Salesforce, somebody from Salesforce. People who do what you're doing are searching you, you're making an impact, you're getting noticed. That's good. I just went to one of the porta potties to take a shit, and there was like some wet shit on it. And I was like, oh, this is great, it's fucking piss. And I took the uh, toilet paper and I went to wipe, and it was brown, and it was fucking shit on the toilet seat. How do you shit on the toilet seat? That's, that's hard to do. You have to try to shit on a toilet seat. It's fucking gross. I'm gonna use the porta potties. I'd rather use my own fucking.
Um, I was on LinkedIn. I saw a post by uh, TEDx. It was a TED talk about climate change from uh, that Greta Thunberg girl. And my... I guess the point I'm trying to make making this video is take some time to do it. Um, so if... This is my take on, uh, you know, I'm more familiar with American history than any other country's history, so I'm going to take it from an American perspective. Our daily habits were, uh, if our daily habits are what influenced negative climate change, cheer me out on this. If our negative habits were what influenced you know, negative climate change over time, our habits of driving, our habits of, of using technology, of having big houses, of using a lot of energy. If those habits are what shaped climate change, nobody asked us to have the habits we have. Nobody said, can you have these habits, please, to, to make people happier in how they live? That's not how we those habits were shaped. Those habits were shaped through advances in technology and economic competition. That's how our habits were shaped over time to create the negative climate change. So it makes sense if we want our habits to change to have a positive impact on climate change, you can't ask um, people to change their habits because that's never how things have worked and that's never going to work. But what you can do is influence sustainable economic competition to, you know, advance technology, further sustainability research, definitely is something that could, that will help, you know, drive um, changes in how businesses operate, how they compete, how they produce products, how they sell products, um, just economics in general um you know advanced technology in terms of research will definitely help that but we you know i think a good thing that can be done is influencing sustainable economic competition which eventually you know depending on the push that you give towards that idea it, it'll take time um that's how you know it may take some time it may take not as much time but Starting with technology and economics and how businesses operate, that's how our habits are shaped over time. So if you want to reshape people's habits and how they, you know, live every day and what they do every day and how much energy they use every day and how they impact the planet around them every day, you can't ask them to just change their habits. You have to influence change um, in a sustainable economic competitive kind of a way you have to influence sustainable economic competition and then that will eventually shape and reshape everyday living habits and how we impact the world around us you can't just ask for change you can't ask people for change you can't ask government for change because that's never going to be an assertive there's never going to be an assertive result from that. Um, but you can influence it. Because what the government's going to do is they're going to influence the economy. And you asking people to change their habits, people are influenced by the everyday economy around them. And even if they want to change their habits, it's not easy for them to do unless industries and the economy is working towards that goal as well. So... Cut out the fucking middleman and influence sustainable economic competition because that's where everything, anything you try to change from a government's perspective, from how people, you know, live every day, that's the middleman to industries and the economy. Influence sustainable, influence sustainable change from an economic competitive perspective and you may be able to achieve you know, something in a reasonable amount of time that can make a positive impact is what I'm trying to fucking say. 
when people hypocritically follow your content and shit, um, as long as they can convince themselves that they're fucking, their opinion's right, but then as you prove that their opinion's fucking wrong, and they fucking want to just ignore you and neglect you, make sure you shove your fucking content way up their fucking shit, way up it so they don't fucking forget it, you know what I'm fucking saying? Hell yeah, fuck you. Galaxy Quest, pretty star said cast, super underrated, YouTube, free movies with ads, go check it out. took my first practice test my licensing test is I don't know, it's Wednesday next week took my first practice test I have to finish it's the last part of the course I have to finish that part in order to get a free 30 day extension for more practice tests and I missed it by one I missed passing by one fucking question I need a 70% to pass and that's like what you need to pass on the real test and it's 69.3 fucking three. So I'm going to have to take it again, but I missed passing by one question my first go around the practice test. Not too bad. Took the fucking lead. I snuck EJ Brown in my lineup three hours ago. Fresh off his injury. 